first word that comes to mind is dynamic. It was one of those wow factors. When you're looking at the fountains, you don't really realize how much the light can actually make the fountain. It is part of the experience. When you turn the lights on, it was something that was very dynamic and something that you can't find anywhere else. The Turning Basin Project actually was born out of getting more people across the Turning Basin. Basically, everyone from the pavilion has to cross the Turning Basin to get to the parking. So we saw this as an opportunity to increase the visibility of, of this slope and also create a pathway for pedestrians to come down and stop and enjoy the waterway and also framed from the bridge as sort of a focal point for this area. With a typical cascade, just one effect, can't change it, is what it is, it stays there. But one of the really unique things with this one was the linear lights that went up and down the basins. It enabled um, GPSI and Crystal to come up with some very unique programming. This created a show aspect to a normally static feature. What appealed to us about this fixture was its narrow dimension. The fact that it has an incredible color range. It was kind of powerful to be able to adjust a light on site and not to have to have a color temperature preset and to be able to tweak it. And I think it's an important prospect for future projects. I think one of the really unique things with those lights, which gives you that different mix of colors, one in particular where you can create a red that looks like fire, and it really, with a cascade, it looks like fire is going down the, the cascade. Very unique color that you normally don't see, and something where you can paint a picture like it was at Woodlands Turning Basin with three basins that you can stand off from a far distance and see, you're able to create a picture out there that you're, you're literally broadcasting against. I think it opens up opportunities that just aren't out there for other light fixtures. I mean, the, the colors and everything else are just going to expand what we can do with water features.